Hello, I'm Yuri Dekovny, Solutions Architect with AWS. Today, I'll introduce and show you how to use the new strong authentication capabilities of AWS Single Sign-On. Till now, AWS SSO was supporting OTP-based third parties authentication applications. Many of our customers were looking for a stronger methods and broader device authenticator support of two-factor authentication, such as using hardware security keys, device built in biometric sensors or facial recognition. And we listened and we delivered. AWS SSO expanded its two-factor authentication capabilities by adding support for Web 10, an extensible web authentication API that has been developed within World Wide Web Consortium W3C and the Fast Identity Online FIDO Alliance. FIDO's newest set of specifications, FIDO 2, includes Web 10 and Client to Authenticator Protocol 2, CTAP 2. Web 10 enables a standard based means for providers such as AWS to support a wide variety of FIDO authenticators across all major browsers. And browser support for CTAP 2 allows browsers' communication with a hardware authenticators. Together with clients' platform authentication technologies such as Apple Touch ID and Windows Hello, all this allows you to use security keys or built-in device authenticators like biometric scanners to sign in to web applications. FIDO authentication is based on public-private key cryptography. The client registers a public key with the online service at initial setup. Later, when authenticating, the web server verifies that the client has the corresponding private key by asking to sign a challenge with that private key and verifies the signature using the user's public key. FIDO authentication designed to ensure user security, privacy, and convenience. The private public key set is unique for each website and the private key never leaves authenticator device and never stored on the server. In case of using biometric authenticators, users' biometric data never leaves the authenticator device either. FIDO security model eliminates the risk of phishing, relying party or origin being verified by the client and the authenticator, as well as all forms of password theft and replay attacks. Web 10 is currently supported in Windows 10, Android platforms, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Apple Safari web browsers. With this broad support, Web 10 allows users to log into the accounts from the device they prefer. And today, AWS SSO supports Web 10, which enables your users to strongly secure the accounts using a variety of FIDO interoperable authenticators, using hardware security keys and built-in authenticators such as Apple Mac OS X Touch ID, biometrics on Android mobile phone, Windows Hello compatible devices, and more. With the user convenience, improved security, and privacy benefits of FIDO authentication. Now, let's jump to the demo. First, let's take a look at the user's experience of signing in first time to AWS account with a FIDO-enabled hardware authenticator. As AWS user, I navigate to the AWS SSO start URL and enter my username and then my password. You can see that for usability and enhanced security, AWS SSO split entry of the username and password into two steps. I am signing into AWS SSO first time and I don't have MFA devices registered yet, so I am prompted to register an MFA device. I can choose here between traditional authenticator application, hardware security key, and built-in biometric sensor. I choose security key, click next, and if I cancel the enrollment, I cannot sign in and I can try again right away without entering my username and password. This time I touch my YubiKey I have inserted into the USB slot. I authorize the enrollment and I give my key a friendly name to make it easily recognizable. I am using YubiKey USB-C device, so I'll call it YubiKey USB-C, save the name and click done to finish the enrollment. 
Now I'm signed into AWS SSO user portal from where I can access AWS accounts and services assigned to me by the AWS SSO administrator. I choose one of the accounts and roles from the list and I'm getting logged into AWS console. Now I go back to the AWS SSO user portal, click on the MFA devices and I can see my YubiKey USB-C hardware token here. To prevent productivity loss and for the user's convenience, AWS SSO allows to enroll up to six MFA devices for each user. So I'll enroll an additional FIDO2 enabled device. I click register device and this time I choose to enroll my MacBook built-in Touch ID fingerprint device. I click Next and authorize the enrollment. To finish, I choose a friendly name for my Touch ID and click Done. When I log into AWS SSO user portal next time, I'll be able to choose any of my enrolled devices for the second factor authentication. After we've seen how users can log into the AWS accounts from AWS console, let's quickly take a look how they can use temporary AWS credentials from AWS CLI, hardening this access with hardware security key and built-in authenticators. As AWS user, I use AWS CLI and type AWS configure SSO. I provide AWS SSO start URL and the region where my administrator enabled AWS SSO. Now AWS CLI launches the default browser on my machine and I redirect it to the AWS SSO for authentication. I provide my username then password and I've been asked to provide my second factor authentication. I touch my YubiKey here and authorize the session and AWS CLI presents me with a set of accounts and roles I can assume. I choose one of the options, confirm the profile name suggested to me, and I've got my temporary AWS credentials to access AWS accounts. Now, let's take a look at the AWS SSO administrator experience. I am logged into AWS SSO console and I go to the settings tab. I already configured multi-factor authentication for my directory, so let's quickly review the configuration options here. First, I can choose when users are getting prompted for the second factor authentication. I can choose between context-aware mode when AWS SSO detects, for example, location or device change or anomaly behavior, always on mode or disabling a second factor authentication completely. I can also enable or disable hardware authenticators and third-party applications. Below, I can define how I enforce the second factor authentication for my users, either allowing them to log in without MFA devices or not. And finally, I can allow or block users from managing their MFA devices. As far as you can see, I configured MFA to be always on, and to require users to register an MFA device at sign-in if they don't have an MFA device enrolled yet, also allowing them to add an additional devices to increase users' productivity. If I go now to the Users menu, choose a user and go to the MFA Devices menu, I can manage users' MFA devices from here. As far as you can see, with AWS SSO Web Attend support, AWS administrators can enable builders accessing AWS accounts and services conveniently, securing this access with FIDO authenticators for second factor authentication. Thank you for watching. It was Yuri Dukovny with AWS Solutions Architecture.